Its name is Cobra. It uses a water cannon to neutralise dangerous packages. Cobra and its friends may resemble stars in a George Lucas film, but they're not. These robots have the job of dealing with explosives. EOD, or Explosive Ordnance Disposal, involves dealing with all threats from explosive devices, whether they are manufactured products, bombs or missiles, or mines, improvised devices, or even chemical, biological or radiological weapons. The robots were among the guests at the Trenchin Slovakia meeting, organised by the EOD Centre of Excellence and the NATO Defence Against Terrorism programme. The companies in attendance showcased increasingly sophisticated technologies. It has the ability to easily go through terrain and has a very strong arm for lifting up the IED. And it is a remotely controlled uh, light mining system. Image plates is this kind of plate, you feed it into a scanner, the scanner reads out the image, digitizes the image. There is a small explosive charge, the object is to throw the chemical agent very widely. Michael spent six months in Afghanistan as the head of an EOD team and who was even decorated for this mission. He is now sharing his valuable experience. For him, these technologies are essential in the theatre of operation, even if they are not the sole solution. You can have the best technique, but uh, you need to know how to decide and what to do. You know, Of course, you need to have some experience, or at least you need to have some uh, advice from experienced people. Trenchin, a few steps from the robot meeting, is the Centre of Excellence organising the conference. This place is not for gimmicks, but for grey matter. Opened recently in 2010 by six sponsor nations and accredited by NATO in 2011, it plays the part of consultant and expert for the Alliance. The need for EOD specialists is uh, quite high as well outside Afghanistan. We are here and uh, to help, you know, to help with the expertise. And this is actually the, the purpose of this center, to, to gather the, the information, to make the analysis of that information from open sources and of course the, the classified information and then uh, after the analysis to use it to improve the EOD capability via better training and better education. The center organizes training for NATO member states and partners. Each nation provides uh, the initial training of the IDD operator who is able to uh, dispose with the device. But because of the varieties of the equipment around the world, not each country uses the same type of the robot, not each country uses the same technologies how to uh, disconnect the explosive train. We try to, uh, in multinational deployment, to set up some techniques, tactics and procedures, how to work together. Sharing experience and knowledge is indispensable in a field where the threat is constantly evolving. A lot of these uh, so-called IEDs, improvised explosive devices, cost less than $5 to make. The, 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 the range of types is almost infinite. For example, last year I was in Iceland um, where uh, we had a NATO exercise which experimented on 49 different varieties of improvised explosive device, some using shells, some using plastic explosive, some uh, using metal plates, others not using metal at all. And of course the problem is that because these things are so cheap to make, they're so easy to put in the ground, uh, they're so easy to multiply uh, and often so difficult to detect, um, it would be very easy for the adversary to be ahead of us uh, and of course these kill our troops they don't by the way just kill NATO troops they kill lots of Afghan civilians as well. The aim of multinational cooperation is to keep ahead of these threats so that Cobra and the other robots can be more effective in the field with one committed purpose to save lives. This is a NATO Channel report from Trenchin.